TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And we have most of the U.S. indices trading the upside. The one that isn't is the trannies. It's off seven points, so it's a flat market. Otherwise, you got the Dow up 179, a half a percent, S&P 27, six tenths. The Nasdaq, a half a percent, 83. The Russell, a half a percent, 11. The semis are basically flat. They're up two bucks out there. Uh, let's go take a look. Oh, let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. I just need to switch over to them, and then we'll go take a look at what they're doing. And what signal information those are generating for us. So momentarily, you will see the uh, Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So what we know about the Dow right now is that uh, price is above its green oscillator and change line. That's printing at 35,527. Here we're printing out at 35,671. This suggests to you and I that the Dow is going to go retarget its TD9 breakdown level. That's at 35,952.63. That's as long as price remains above that green oscillator and change line. The S&P 500 is taking on its green oscillator and change line to close above 40... 4667 today suggests that we go back towards that recent high from about uh, five, six trading sessions ago. The NASDAQ has stalled at its green oscillator and change line. But should it close above that level, and that level is 16094, that would suggest a move back to, uh, you know, these prior tops out here. The Russell 2000 is above a red oscillator and change line. It has a road to indicator bottom. It has a seventh wave move bottom. And uh, this is suggesting, and prices, the Russell 2000 equity future contract trading above the top of its daily profile. So if all those conditions are met at day's end, the Russell 2000 should rally further. The semis, they're just in a sideways consolidation. You can see that black, rack, black, black rectangle out there. Uh, price, if it can close above 38.92, should make its way to the top of the consolidation. The transports out here don't know what they're really doing. I mean, they haven't been able to close above that oscillator and change line. So that would suggest to me that maybe they want to get down and test the breakout level. You can't bust them out. You try to bust them down. That would be at 15.146. Spot volatility. Now, it's a key chart to watch today. It's trading below the 50-day exponential moving average, which is printing at 20.46. We're at 19.72. You close below that, odds favor we see a continued rally tomorrow. And the XAU, not doing much, but continuing to move higher. Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours that we've got here today. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp. So uh, please listen then if you can. If not, I'll make sure the show is, uh, the Trader's Ed show is pertinent for the one to two time frame. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. Take care. Be safe out there.